Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Inshallah, in a few hours we will start 2023, a new year. And many of us make many goals and aims. Make sure that there's one goal that you keep on the top of your list. And that is what you're going to do for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He needs to be number one. If you make that your priority over everything else, all your other desires, needs and requirements and goals you have, Allah will make it easier for you and make you successful in everything else as long as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is your number one on your list. As a Muslim, what is required from us? That is the question, What? how should we spend 2023? How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has explained this to us in the Quran, I will take us to a story about the, um, the men in the cave uh, in Surah Kahf that we try to read every Friday. Uh, and they and their story tells us about the basic requirement that is needed for us to be good Muslims. So let's see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us about them. So Allah says in Surah Kahf, Ayah 10, Remember when these when those youths took refuge in the cave and said, Our Lord, grant us mercy from yourself and guide us rightly through our ordeal. So the first lesson from this is remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not forget him, no matter what happens. Turn to Allah for everything and ask Allah for his mercy and help through all ordeals. Then in Surah Kahf, Ayah 14, Allah SWT says, Our Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We will never call. Then in Surah Kahf, Ayah 14, they say, Our Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We will never call upon any God besides him. Or it would truly be uttering an outrageous lie. So now the second lesson is, proclaim, proclaim La ilaha illallah, there is no God but God and that He is the only one worthy of being worshipped. Anything besides Him or anything added to that is a lie. Then in Surah Kahf, Ayah 15, uh, Then they said to one another, These people of ours have taken gods besides Him. Why do they not produce a clear proof of them? Who then does more wrong than those who fabricate lies against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So the third lesson now, do not fall in the trap of shaitan. Do not perform shirk or bidda. Have clear knowledge and follow the true religion as laid down in the Quran and authentic hadith. Then ayah 16, it is mentioned, Since you have distanced yourself from them and what they worship besides Allah, take refuge in the cave. Your Lord will extend his mercy to you and accommodate you in your ordeal. Associate, so the fourth lesson is, associate yourself with those people who follow the true religion. Live and stay in a place where you can follow your religion better. And when you do, Allah will be there to help you. Then in Ayah 19, in Surah Kahf, the, the these uh, boys in the cave say, Your Lord knows best how long you have remained. So send down of you with those silver coins of yours to the city and let him find which food is the purest and then bring the provisions from it. The fifth lesson, reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what you earn, what you eat and what you wear, all the things for yourself and for your family need to be from a halal source, meaning a halal income. That is very important. And it's um, uh, Ayah 20 Surah Kaf, For indeed, if they find out about you and they will stone you to death or force you back into their faith, and then you will never succeed. So the sixth lesson is, true success is only one. That is success of the day of Akhirah and how to achieve it. So stand firm in your religion. Meaning, follow all of the pillars of Islam and the commands of Allah. Have adequate knowledge. Read and understand the Quran so, so that you are successful in the day of Akhirah. Allah here has beautifully explained what is the least thing that you need to do in your uh, uh, life to become a good Muslim. And how does Allah help such people? Allah has already mentioned in these same ayahs. Allah says in ayah 13, they were youths who truly believed in the Lord and we increased them in guidance. In Ayah 14, Allah says, and we strengthen their, their hearts. And in Ayah 17, Allah says, whoever Allah guides is truly guided, but whoever he leaves astray, you will never find for them a guiding mentor. So brothers and sisters, so every time you read Surah Kaf every week, it should remind you of the basic requirements, how you need to do to become a good Muslim. And, um, and the example of these boys in the cave is a very good one as well. Jazakallah for listening. Assalamu alaikum.